Welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to discuss a little bit strange keyword called coalesce. So what the coalesce actually does, it returns the first non-null expression in a list. Let's go ahead and see so that you can understand it better. So remember this query here? We used to do this query, if you remember from the first section of this chapter, when we replace the USA employees with the American employees using the replace statement in here. But what if I wanted to replace the null values in here? Can I just type this here? Null, for example? Null is a keyword? No, it's not going to work. See? It's null. It's not replacing anything. So how can I check for this? This is some of the scenarios. So you can come in here and select and choose the coalesce. I know it's a strange word. As you can see, it's a function. Then you open a parentheses, and what we're going to do is we're going to check the remarks. And if we have a null value, we can go ahead and display something. So if we have a null value, just tell me null value in here. This is my text, okay? So that I differentiate between the null and my record in here. From employees. Let's test this. And here it is. We have the null values in here. We can go ahead, of course, and add the asterisk so that we have all the columns. And we can go ahead and rename it as new remarks. Execute again. And here it is. All the null values have been replaced with the null value in here. So I can remove this fixed text in here and, for example, add the email. I can take it from here and in the remarks. So I can come in here and add this. Execute. Now we have the email and the null values. It's pretty interesting. I can come in here also and add something like bending. Maybe waiting for information, as you can see here. So that's how you use this weird function. See you in the next lecture.